Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video of functions in Spark, I am going to explain you about three functions. One is the collect list, then the second is collect set and the third one is array distinct. So these are the three Spark functions which we are going to talk in this particular video. So these three functions are very important functions. In fact, you have to use them in day to day basis on day to day basis in case you are working in Spark. So I would show you the functioning of each and every function. I will, you know, make you understand the concept through, you know, the direct code in Spark. And basically I will explain you these three functions in each of the three languages in Scala, SQL and Python. Although SQL is not a language, but uh, you know, we are going to perform this function you know, we are going to use this function in each of these three languages. So without any further ado, let me just proceed. Now, um, basically, uh, you know, I would not go through slide right now. I will directly jump on to the Databricks, basically, so that, you know, it is much easier for all of you to understand. So here first, uh, you know, let me just explain you a basic thing that collect list and collect set, right? Both of these functions are nothing but these are aggregate functions which return an array, which returns an array, right, for the values or for the column on which you apply collect list or collect set, they will return an array data type and these are aggregate functions. So you should remember this part that collect list and collect set both are aggregate functions. Now, basically, you know, we'll just proceed. I'll just proceed to create a data frame. First, I'm writing everything in Scala. So you can see I have written few import statements, right? So I'm just importing, you know, all the functions from the Spark SQL. I'm trying to import, you know, the struct type, string type and uh, integer type from the Spark, right? So let me simply let me run this first cell and after that in the command 2, what I'm trying to do is I am trying to, uh, you know, create a data frame, right? I'm trying to put the values in the data frame. So now if you see using row, I am trying to put values in the Scala data frame. Right now, the moment I do it, you can see that your data frame is created and let me try to display this data frame. Now, the moment I display the data, data frame, you can actually see that there are two columns, right? Now, let me simply sort it based on the column. Now, you can actually see that one, 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 and then you have th this data, right? So basically, this is a dummy data which I have put in the data frame. Now, in the command 4, let me simply add the headers. Basically, column 0 and column 1 doesn't look nice. So let me simply add headers. Now, to add a header, you know, you can, you already know, I have been talking about it in my previous video, whether it is Python, you know, whether it is Scala, there is a very little difference, uh, if I say syntactically. So, uh, struct type, I'm using struct type here, right, to add the column names, right? Now, to add the column names, what I'm trying to do, I am adding the column name as hospital ID and doctor ID. So basically I have a data frame where first column is a hospital ID and second column is a doctor ID, right? Now I have created the schema using the stru struct type and the schema has nothing but it has two columns named as hospital ID and doctor ID. And after that in command five, what I'm trying to do, I am trying to create a data frame and using this particular schema. So this is what I'm trying to do, right? So finally, I have a data frame. So first, what I did is using row, I created, I created the dummy data. You using the row function, I created the dummy data, I displayed it, I used the schema, and I have finally, I'm ready with my data frame. So these are all the basic things which we have been discussing from, you know, our last few videos. I have so many, I've created so many videos on data, uh, data breaks. So in case you have any issues with that, you can go ahead and watch my previous videos. But now you can see that we have this data frame ready, right? So you have hospital ID and the doctor ID. So hospital ID is the ID of hospital and doctor ID is nothing but the ID of the doctor who is working in that hospital, right? So now if you can see one, 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 zero, one, one, eight, nine, seven, six. So you have these three duplicates as well, right? in the data. Now similarly if I go here you can again see that for hospital ID 2 you again have duplicate data as well for hospital ID 3 again you have the duplicate data right so this is the data set that you have this is just the data frame right now if you look at this command 6 
right here if you see now uh, in fact, let me copy this and create one more cell and write this. So this is how you can actually go ahead and use collect list, right? Now, if you can see well, from this input data frame, if I want to list, you know, all the doctors who are working in a particular hospital, right? How do I do that? I can do it using collect list right so for hospital id one who are all the doctors if i want it in it in a form of an array so right now you can see you have multiple rows now instead of that i want an array that for a particular hospital id who all are the doctors right give me a list right so to do that you can actually use collect list now i told you collect list is uh, is used as an aggregate function now you can see that df so df is nothing but this data frame group by i want to group by hospital id right so this is the hospital id i want to group it by hospital id dot aggregate what do i want to aggregate what do i want to collect i want to collect doctor id and how do i want to collect it i want to collect it using collect list right so now let me simply run the cell and you will actually see how the output looks like so this is what the usage of collect list is i have not used any theory over here in fact i prepared slides but then again i thought it is better to explain through the code itself so now if you see over here right hospital id 1 has these doctors right hospital id 2 has these doctors so this is how your collect list works so if i want to open it right so it is an array data type so that is why i said collect list is used as an aggregate function and its output is an array type right so and i and i gave you an example and i showed you but now what the problem you can see over here is so my data had duplicates right it had one right so for example it had multiple dupl duplicates so for example for hospital id one you have three records for eight nine seven six and when you do collect list you can see that it has kept your data as it is right it has kept your data as it is in the same order the order is also same so if you go up at the top so you have one one zero one and then you have eight nine seven six three times and then you have three five six six so the order is also same and the duplicates are not removed so that is called your collect list so collect list has two features right first of all what it will do is it will collect your data as an aggregate it will aggregate your data and the output will be nothing but an array type right so even if you look at the schema right if i open this and you look at the schema right the schema is an array right the output will be an array and it does not remove any duplicates it will keep all the duplicates in the same sequence as the sequence of your data right it will keep it in the same sequence as the sequence of your data but usually you do not want duplicates so for that what you can do is you can use something called as array distinct right so array distinct is a function which you can use right to get the distinct values from the array to get the distinct value from the array you can actually use this array distinct function so now if you see my command 6 and command 7 are exactly same just that over here before collect list before applying collect list i have just applied array distinct so the moment i do that you can actually see now my hospital id one if you look at it it just have three values so my duplicates of three du uh, uh, 8976 had three values right so instead of that it has removed the two values and kept one and it is again in the same order it will not change the order also so that is the usage of your array distinct right now i told you two things collect list and array distinct in scala now what about collect set now instead of collect list if you use collect set what happens is let me just run this cell now in this case what will happen is by default if you look at it the moment i use collect set right id1 a hospital id1 has three doctors only it does not carry duplicates so collect set again is a same function right collect set is the same function it is used as an aggregate function the output again is of array data type the only difference is if you look at this the output is again array data type the only difference is that collect set will remove 
any duplicates it will do the deduplication it will remove any duplicates and the second thing is the order of the data is not maintained so my input data actually had 1101 first then it had 8976 and then it had 3566 but here the order of the data is not maintained so these are the three functions which are very widely used and i showed you how to use them in scala do let me know if you have any questions in the comment box and now i'm going to show you the same thing in sql right i'm going to show you the same thing in sql so if you look at this command 10 right let me simply run this command 10 10. So here what I am trying to do is I am trying to use collect list on column right and this column what does it have right this column basically has has values what values it has right it has 1 2 null right 1 2 null and 1 it has 4 values so collect list by default is giving you 3 values it is removing duplicates right if i run it again right let me run it again so it is actually giving you three values it is by default removing these duplicates right so this is the usage of collect list in sql similarly if you look at the collect set right let me run it so collect list if you look at the top right it has maintained i ran it two times still it has maintained the order right it has maintained the order right but now when you look over here in the collect set right in the collect set if you look at here what it does is it has by default removed duplicates sorry i think i misspelled it so the collect list did not remove duplicates right because collect set uh, collect list does not remove duplicates but collect set removes duplicate right so the first one did not remove any duplicates and the second one collect set it has removed the duplicates right so one comma two if you can see it has removed the duplicate one so that is what your collect set is in sql now similarly in sql if you want to use array distinct with the collect list now collect list does not remove duplicates right and if you want to get the distinct value you can also use array distinct in the sql so if you look over here the collect list at the top it gave three values right but now if you look here since i used array distinct it does not have any uh, duplicates over here so this was your uh, you know uh, way to use array distinct with collect list also remember that in sql you can also use distinct keyword right you can already you can use this distinct keyword as well if you want to get the distinct values from the collect list you can do that but then in that case inside the collect list you need to pass the distinct values right if you are not passing distinct values inside the collect list right then what you can do is you can simply use array distinct outside the collect list so this is how you can do it in sql right also now since you know that we have already done it right using uh, sql now the other thing is python in python let me simply import you know uh, functions simple import statements basically i'm importing the modules over here now in the command 15 i'm just creating a data frame let me run this command so the moment i create a data frame you can actually see that i'm displaying the data frame also here so if you can look here 1414 right 2828 so basically this also has duplicates now if i want to do collect list right let me run the cell you can see that i'm grouping by column a right so it has two columns i'm grouping by column a and then i want collect list of b right so what what it should have now collect list does not remove duplicates so it it should have all the values of one right one and it should maintain the sequence sequence is 443 right so if you look here now one collect list output is 443 2887 right but now again if i want to use collect set same syntax everything is same just that instead of collect list you put collect set now in that case what happens is you can see that the order of data is not maintained three comes first four comes second and there are no duplicates 
Now similarly, if you see, you can also use array distinct to it to collect list. Collect set is already giving you, uh, you know, collect set is already giving you deduplication. It is not keeping your duplicate records. Collect list is actually, uh, you know, keeping your duplicate records and array distinct is removing those duplicates. So it should not have duplicates and order of data is also maintained. So four is coming first, three is coming afterwards eight is coming first seven is coming afterwards so you can actually see eight is coming first and seven is coming after that even my actual data has eight first and seven after that so essentially this is all about your collect list collect set and the array distinct right these three things so basically i hope you like this particular video do let me know in the comment sections if you have any doubt and do practice this because these three are very important. So now you can see that in case you have, you know, this kind of data, right? Let's say you have this data, which I showed you at the top hospital and doctor. So let's say you are working in health, uh, uh, health side, right? So let's say you're working, you know, any, I'm just giving you an example. Okay. So this is hospital and doctor example. It can be anything. So a hospital can have multiple doctors, right? So let's say your table input table has this kind of data, right? So you might want to create a list out of it, right? You might want to have duplicates for a reason. You might not want to have duplicates for a reason. So in that case, you have to use collect list or collect set, collect list keeps the duplicates, collect set does not keep the duplicate. Array distinct is used to remove duplicates, right? And I have shown you the syntax in all the three, Scala, SQL, as well as in Python. So do let me know if you have any questions. And thank you so much for being till here. Do remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel. Thank you so much.